microfish files of thousands of articles where people are developing a small neighborhood and just some guy finds a mound in his backyard, knocks it down to put his septic tank in mm. and finds a nine foot skeleton, right? I mean, it's, it's absurd how many of them there are, but they all have the one thing in common. The Smithsonian came in, purchased the skeleton, and nobody ever talks about it ever again. Yeah, so, no, well, it's, it's, for, it's for scientific purposes, you know. We'll, we'll do research and display it in our museum, and oh, we misplaced it. How unfortunate. The, the, you know, the terrible thing is, I wouldn't mind if they were doing some type of DNA research to, you know, look at things like that. If oh. they were open about it, and if they didn't plan on weaponizing every damn thing they did, that's my problem with it. <laughs> if they don't find a functional weaponization for it, they don't think it has a use. You know? Uh, no, that's that's unfortunately one of the first things that um, us, us humans, us men, will, uh, will do. We'll find something new and then figure out how we can weaponize yeah, it. It's, it's just it's like, like why, why is that our, our first instinct? Why is that like, oh, this is cool. How can we kill people with it? Like, dude, no. Just, I mean. <laughs> right. right. No, you cook food with it, man. You don't push people into the fire. You cook food with it, right? Like, I mean, our, yeah, it, that's mind-bending. But now the problem is we have a billion-dollar organization that's spearheading it. So that's literally like being thrown by the American government or or at least guided by, you know, mm -hmm. and, and allowed to get away with these things. Now, the most maddening part of it is we know it happened. There's records of it. Yeah. Let's declassify it. It's time. You know, it's not going to hurt anybody's feelings nowadays. We've had enough talk of aliens and supernatural things that humans have been desensitized to it over the last couple decades. You know, if somebody told you that vampires were real right now, would you be surprised? With everything that has happened in the last two, three years? Nah. All right. I, I would not either. <laughs> now, I find that a lot of humanity is the same way. We've seen it on TV so much. We've been desensitized to it all. And then you think about it. Hollywood is tied to BlackRock and Vanguard and State Street yeah. and all of these big organizations that are tied to the Smithsonian's nine founding families that are tied to, you know, it, it goes all the way back. It's the same elite people that built the Georgia Guidestones that believe in eugenics that are cleaning out the annals of our history also. Yeah, but isn't, and, isn't the, that, like, uh, on the, the topic of, of Hollywood, isn't that why they, um, they put things like that in, uh, in pop culture? So that, you know, when people find it or discover it or whatever, it's just like, ah, uh, you've been watching too much TV. You know, you're yes, just, you're, you're imagining things. No, those are, those are fairy tales. What happens is it starts in pop culture. It starts with urban legends, folk tales, movies, books, etc. Yeah. Right? Then it moves on to people talking about it and them going, no, that's a conspiracy theory. And then, like, 11 days later, they're like, hey, guess what we just found? You know? So... It, that's, it's, that that happens, happens a lot lately. Uh, you know, I've even seen articles that um you know conspiracy theorists they keep proving to be right and it's a very dangerous thing i mean yeah it is for the established order for sure but you know like i, like I said in the last, last two or three years it was one big i told you so right and now we're still sweeping up that i told you so mess and we, i think we will be for years 